Hey guys, the Poison Gift here. I'm going to cover a quick introduction tutorial for Newtonian being integrated into the multiplayer survival game template. Uh, this has been requested by a few of you, um, and it's a very, very simple process, so it should be a very short video. Apologies in advance if my voice cuts out. I'm a little bit unwell and my voice is being stupid. <laughs> so, first off, I'm just going to create a fresh project so you guys can see it's all done from scratch. So just call it something like that. Let that do its thing. Shouldn't take too long at all. Then we just want to click on Add to Project for Newtonian. And we add that to our project. Once that's done, we can begin opening the project. And just have to let Unreal Engine do its thing here. And the great thing about Newtonian, one of the things I set out to do when making it is that it's literally drag and drop. So all we actually really need to do is drop the component onto the controller. But just to demonstrate, I will go through. There's a couple of things that, um, obviously the template comes with its own falling damage. So we need to turn that off. Um, I won't go over configuring Newtonian. That's There's a separate video on how to do all that stuff that goes into fairly... Um, goes fairly in depth, but yeah. <clears throat> so this should be open shortly. Okay, so we're also just going to jump straight to the map to save time when we're testing. And we're also going to quick just delete these other spawns, not the landscape. I move this one here straight up to the chest just so we can really quick at testing. Still a bit low. There we go. I hit N, so if we hit play now, we should start right here. So we can just jump down there, and obviously the falling damage in the template is there, and we die. So what we're going to do first off, we're going to go into the survival controller <clears throat> and we're going to turn off the falling damage. So just open the survival controller, click on manager health and you've got this checkbox here, enable falling damage. So now when we do this, if we jump, we receive no damage. I'll do that better because I coasted down the side of the hill there. Did it again. We jump down here. Okay, so you can see we landed absolutely no damage taken. So all we need to do now, and you can do this a couple of ways, we just need to add the component. So we can type in Newtonian here, BP Newtonian Manager, or we can just do it through going to Content, Newtonian, Blueprints, and then just drag and drop this guy under there. <coughs> Now, Newtonian comes with its own example health system, so we're going to turn that off. We don't need that. We've got the falling, uh, the health system in the template. Um, and we're just going to leave everything else on default because, like I said, I'm not going to go into um, all configuring Newtonian. The one thing I will say is if you've already been working with the template and you have quite a complicated project, you might want to raise the initialization delay here. And if you hover over that, it does give a um description about that and if you look at the video I've got covering Newtonian it gives a lot more detail on that. So now once we fire this up, start up here and if we jump, whoops, did not happen there, getting caught on the landscape. There we go. And there you can see we've died. So I'll see if we can find a smaller fall so you can see that it's not just instant death. Oh, that wasn't far enough. Let's jump down this way behind the AI. There we go. So you can see it does work and it's all momentum based because we've set it up with the not simple one. So that's it. That's literally all you have to do to integrate Newtonian into the template. Um, I am working on a very large update, but if you have any more recommendations or suggestions or requests for integra integration tutorials, Please contact me via support.dapperaptor.xyz. Links in the description. Cheers, guys.